The, the course is definitely a, a step up from A-levels uh, or foundation in two ways in particular, I, I feel. The first, printmaking and fine art in Brighton especially, is completely self-initiated. There's no projects that are set. There's very, very little deadlines. Uh, everything you have to come up with yourself. There's no briefs. There's no starting points. It's all you. And um, some people thrive on that. Some people find that a bit challenging. I like that because the freedom to be independent in my choice of study and self-directed study, kind of exploring what I want to see um, and learning the craft of printmaking. The second way that it really is a step up is the history of art that you take throughout the whole three years. That's been one of my favourite things about the course, is really learning yeah, the history behind all the work that you do. The facilities of the universities and even the systems in the workshop that have been developed, they are really supportive, so there's no reason if you choose to engage why you should struggle because I think you've got to remember you're not the first person to go into this situation. Plenty of creative opportunities, creative people around, lots of people to bounce ideas off and experiences and inspiration around. I know that our tutors are specifically kind of available. One, like you could always book a time to see them. Uh, it's never a hassle and they really respect the way you work. They're very careful not to tell you to produce anything. They really kind of let you make your work organically. I think there would be some elements that would help for the future. Having my own studio, making my own work, um, yeah, exploring my own themes and topics. To have a career, you know, you have to have a few different skills, but the main one has to be making incredible art if you really want to go down that route. And that's what the university offers you. It offers you a, a chance to have your work seen by people who know the art world inside out. The tutors are incredible. You have a different tutor every year that you're in and they take you through the course. There's plenty of freedom within the course to like direct yourself, look at the things that you, you're interested in um, and tutors are always on hand to be able to talk to, have tutorials with and give feedback and decent critique of your work. If you're prepared to listen, then they're prepared to give you almost really personal advice in terms of how things work for them, not just your standard, this is how you tighten the nuts and bolts, but how to develop your practice. And the technicians know everything you need to know. They don't necessarily coach you on your artwork, but like if you need to do something technically perfect, then they know exactly how to do it and they've had so many years experience in this studio. Brighton definitely a place to be creative. Even just walking down the street, there's art on all the walls. It's a very friendly town as well. It was definitely one of the things that attracted me here. I'd never been prior to the interview, so it was all really a new experience from the moment I got off the train. But it was one I chose to embrace and it's one I really enjoyed. Um, and it's just a lovely environment to be in and when you are happy, you, make, you naturally make good work. And there's so many creative things happening. The Gatey um, Life Drawing at Draw in Brighton, and that's been like my main influence on drawing and a lot of inspiration through meeting people there um, and working and volunteering on projects there. It's definitely influenced my work a lot and made Brighton a much better place. To anyone who's thinking about applying for the printmaking course here, I'd definitely say, you know, come have a look. It's an extremely open course. They are totally comfortable with you doing a variety of kind of mediums, which is really nice. The tutors are lovely. It's a really great environment to be in and learn. For me, I can't imagine a better course. And the, the freedom to be able to go and paint or do video or do music if I wanted to is just amazing so the thing that's most encouraging to me is that I've been surprised what I've been able to accomplish by actually trying and I think 
that is advice that I would give to people who are going to play. There's no reason that they don't want you. You've got to make them aware of why you should be on the course. So don't try and fit yourself into a box where you don't think you are. I was really uncertain about applying for printmaking because I thought I had done the prints, so I wouldn't fit in. But my way of working was actually printmakery in a way that I just didn't realise. So I'd say kind of be natural with how to work and keep doing stuff that's like not to do with your foundation course or the game course or whatever. Um, so I'd say like take a sketchbook with you and just draw everything, anything, wherever you go.